Hello again. Let's use RDNet to design the system. Designing properly your system from the mechanical point of view is the first and most important step in the system management. And remember that a good sound starts always from a good design. We are going to work in our outdoor demo area with an 8 plus 8 HDL 30A line array. Click on Tools and then New Venue. First, double-click in the name and give a proper name. Let's type Main. Then, select the model we are working with, HDL 30A, and the number of modules per side, 8, and press Create to build the cluster. Of course, we are working with one cluster, taking for granted that left and right are equal. If not, we should create one venue for the left and one for the right, not in our case. Input the data about listener height, in this case stand up, so 1.7 meters, and then the audience area dimensions. The system has to cover starting from 8 meters from the stage to 65 meters. If necessary, we could add a second audience area, as balcony or bleachers, for example, starting at 65 to 80 with an height of 3 meters. You can also change the area dimensions by dragging directly with the mouse, in this way. In our case, we don't need a second audience, so let's unflag the option. Now you have to insert the temperature and humidity, because this will affect the HF preset that will be applied at the modules once virtually connected with the clusters. This is very important. This will cause big changes in the equalization and will ensure a really constant frequency response along the audience area. Let's type 20 degrees and 50% of relative humidity. Type also the height of the flybar, in our case 8 meters, and number of pickup points. With one pickup, as in our case, the cluster will automatically take the right tilting according with the hole where we'll fix the shaker. Instead, if you are working with two pickups, once online, you'll have to adjust the cluster inclination looking at the internal inclinometer value of the first box, which is always the same inclination of the flybar. Now, by pressing Autosplay, we'll get all the mechanical data to assemble and fly the cluster and the graphic representation of the module's aiming. In the load and distances field, we can see the total weight of the cluster and the hanging data. Here, there is the indication related to the hole where we have to fix the pickup on the flybar. In this case, the hole number 19. Instead, the first letter, which could be A or B, is related to the direction of the pickup. A with the most blunt part facing backward, or B with the same part facing forward. Once the pickup has been properly oriented, the second letter is related to the hole where you have to hook the chain, that can be F front, C center, like in our case, or R rear. These data are graphically represented here, where you can easily see the pin position and the orientation of the pickup. There is also the last speaker distance from the ground, so, with a laser meter, you can measure the distance to achieve the right height of the cluster. In this field, we see the angles we have to set among the modules, and here the HF correction that will be automatically applied individually to each module according with this design. Be sure to set the system up according with this data. It is possible to print or save to PDF this view. To deepen the Line Array system design, download and read carefully our Line Array system design and tuning guide. You will find it in the Download Knowledge Base section of the RCF website. Again, remember, a good sound starts always from a good design, without which all our effort will be useless. Thank you and see you soon.